ahead. Praise the Lord. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone and welcome to the Aruka Worship Center uh, Facebook page this afternoon where we have gathered together for a special time of prayer as we pray for our nation, we pray for our leaders in this time of crisis and COVID-19. We are so glad that you have taken the time to join with us and we want to encourage you to come together with your family as we spend the next few moments in prayer. Uh, this afternoon, we again, we are from the Aruka Worship Center and our pastor is Bishop Ved Lukai. And he is here with us this afternoon in this special time of prayer. And we want to extend an invitation to you. Maybe for the first time you're logging in into one of our special prayer meetings. We encourage you to please stay with us, join with us as we seek the face of Almighty God, seeking His grace, His mercy in this time of need. Amen. I also, this afternoon, as we get ready to pray, I just want to remind you of what the Word of the Lord is saying, what God is saying to us in this time. We should not be afraid, we should not worry, we should not be filled with anxiety, but we should continue to trust in the name of the Lord. And this evening, I want to read two portions of Scripture for you as we get ready to pray. I am reading from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14 and it reads this afternoon his word says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land Amen. And the second scripture I want to encourage us on our, our faith this afternoon is First John chapter 5 from verse 14 to verse 15. It reads, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know, hallelujah, that we have the petitions that we desire of him. Amen. Amen. If Amen. we call on his name, he said he will heal our land. And if we know that he hear with us, if whatever we desire, whatever we petition of him, we know that he will answer. And this evening, there's a simple chorus that says, Hear my cry, O Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the year will I cry out unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And this evening, we want to set our hearts and set our minds ready for prayer this afternoon. And you can join with me wherever you are with this simple chorus this afternoon. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry out to thee. My heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i that is higher than i for the has been a shelter for me and a strong tower hallelujah from the enemy and when my heart is overwhelmed yes lord lead me to the rock that is higher than i that is higher than i and if your heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i 
Hallelujah. That is higher than I. Hallelujah. We give you your praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. That rock this evening is Jesus. And we want to turn to him. We want to look to him as we pray this afternoon. I want to invite Reverend Cindy to just just lead us out in prayer this afternoon as we pray for our nation, as we pray in this time of need. Can we all just agree together in faith believing this afternoon? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Oh God, how we thank you for this opportunity, dear God, that we could come into your presence and we could cry out to you. We thank you for the assurance that we have, dear yes, God, Lord. that you will hear and you yes, will answer Lord. us, dear God. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are rock and our fortress, yes, your God. shelter and your shield, your strong tower, yes. dear God. Hallelujah. Lord, and there is nothing that you cannot Lord. do. Hallelujah. In this time of COVID-19, oh God, yes, in this Lord. time of pandemic, oh God, you yes, are still Lord. God. And yes, we declare hallelujah. and we acknowledge you are yes. such, dear God. And yes, Father, Lord. this time we want to pray for believers, dear God. Yes, Lord. Lord, based on the scripture, we understand the awesome responsibility, yes, oh God. God, when it comes to the healing of our land, dear God. For we are your people who are called by your name dear God and father in the name of Jesus God I pray for us dear God that this evening that we will come before your presence dear God as believers dear God that we will seek your face dear God as believers father that we will honor and we will worship and we will serve you God that we will seek your face in the name of Jesus Christ dear God Lord we are praying for you oh God that you would help us help us to understand understand this dear God help us oh God I pray you will open the eyes of our understanding dear God father that we will understand dear God our responsibility in a time like this dear God and father this evening as believers we repent we repent oh God where we are our hearts oh God may have grown cold dear God we repent in dear God where we failed you dear God where we have we have sinned against you we repent yes, dear God yes, and we return to you oh God yes, and help yes, us as believers that we will seek your face dear God yes, in the name of Jesus oh God and tomorrow as a stay at home procedures begin oh God father that we will not get ourselves involved in negative things yes, not fill our minds dear God with depression dear God but oh God we will seek your face that our hearts will be drawn unto you oh God father that we will give ourselves to pray in the name of Jesus, dear God. Father, that we'll give ourselves to fasting in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, that we will give ourselves to study in your word, dear God. Father, that at the end of this, Lord, that when we come out, we will be closer, drawn to you, O oh God. And even though we may not meet together at a physical realm, dear God, Father, that we would remain connected with you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for believers that you will strengthen us, dear God, and that we will stand strong in you, dear God, that we will stand firm in you, O oh God, that we will stand, dear God, upon the word of God, that we will fill this land with prayer, dear God, that we will saturate our homes, O oh God, and where we live and where we work, that we we will saturate it with prayer and the presence of God in the name of Jesus. I pray for strength and protection for all believers, for your people that at this time we will reunite dear God that we will unite and we will be strong dear God and we will seek you and we will grow in you father in the name of Jesus with thanksgiving Lord hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Can we just take a few hallelujah, moments and just praise the Lord, hallelujah. 
Father, we worship and honor you, God. We thank you for who you are, Master. Lord, we thank you that you reign, O oh God. No matter what we face, O oh God, that you are God and you are God all by yourself. And, oh God, this evening as I pray, oh God, for our nation, Father, as we, oh God, step into these two weeks, oh God, that, oh Father, you help us, Father, that we will heed the advice, oh God, of the authorities. That, oh God, I pray, Father, that we will, oh God, first obey you, oh God. That we will, oh God, place our eyes, dear Father, upon you. And then, oh God, by obeying your laws and your commands, dear Lord, that we would be able, oh Father, to obey, oh God, other things, oh God, other instructions that is given to us and follow them through, oh God, and know that they are being placed, dear Lord, for a reason. Oh, merciful Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you remove fear from our lives, oh God. You remove fear from our lives, oh Heavenly Father, and you help us to walk, oh God, in your peace, oh God, that we would have your peace, oh God, in our lives, oh Heavenly Father, not as the world give it, oh God. But we will have the peace of God in our hearts, the peace of God which passes all human understanding this evening. And Father, oh God, we will, we will, oh God, merciful Father, apply it, oh God, to our lives, dear Father, so that we could go over oh the safety, dear Lord, in your arms. We could, oh God, walk in obedience, Father. And by so doing, oh God, we would be able, oh God, to abide with the law. And we will use good sense, oh Father, in doing so. Help us, oh God, that we will trust in you, Father, and that we would abide, oh Father, in you, and we would be able to be successful and get through this time, oh God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, for keeping us. I thank you for good wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I thank you, oh God, for being there for us, dear Lord, in this time, Father. And help us, dear Lord, even as we are in our homes, oh God, that we will use this time, Father, to draw near unto you, oh God, and to draw near unto our families, dear Lord, that, oh God, we can come together in one accord, worshiping you. So, Father, I thank you, oh God, for your instruction, dear Lord, that you've set, dear Lord, ahead of us, that we can go out, dear Lord, and do your will and your way. So, Father, help us in this time, Father, that we will listen, that obedience, oh God, will set in, dear Lord, to you first, oh God, and then we'll be able to, to follow instructions, dear Lord, for our lives. So, Father, I thank you for doing it, Lord. I thank you for keeping us, Lord. I thank you yes, for giving Lord. us the strength and the courage. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Father, we do the praise. Hallelujah. We pray for your name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you are now joining us, we are just having a special time of prayer. Pray for our nation, pray for our family, pray for our leaders. If you are now joining with us, you can just call right in with us as we pray, as we agree together for God to do a mighty work in our land. And I want to encourage you that we serve a prayer answering God. We serve a God who answers prayer. And yes, if you want to continue praying and seeking his face, I want to ask Sister Maureen to just leave the soldier this time in a special request oh, again God, as you continue God, to pray God. that God would have to be in this Jesus. time of need and yeah. Christ in our land and in our world. Oh, glory be to God, Almighty Father. We worship and adore you, Almighty God. We give you praise, oh God. You are good God. You are Almighty God, Father. And oh God, we commit this time into you, oh God. We commit our families unto you, oh God, our church family, oh God, our individual families, Almighty God. We pray, oh God, at this time, oh God, we 
will be used, oh God, to, to gel, to bond, to get together with each other, Almighty God, to grow, Almighty God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, your word say how good it is for brethren to dwell together, families to dwell together in unity, Almighty God. So I pray for this time, oh God, that the, oh God, families will unify, Almighty God. Your word say, oh God, to seek peace with all men, oh God, without wit, oh God, we will we will, will not see heaven, Almighty God. So this evening, God, we are praying for peace. We are praying, oh God, for unity, oh Almighty God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray, oh God, that you will bring healing, oh Almighty God, where there is brokenness, oh God, where there is strained relationship this evening, Father. My God, there is nothing impossible for you to do this evening, Almighty God. And we pray, oh God, you are the mighty healer, oh God, and you will heal all wounds, all hurt, all emotion, oh God, physically, spiritually this evening, Almighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh glory to God Almighty. I pray, oh God, that you will give wisdom. You will give your people wisdom, Almighty God, on ways, oh God, where we can spend more time with you, oh God, and where, oh God, together, oh God, we can pray together together we can have devotion almighty god father in the name of jesus you are the god of all wisdom and this evening i pray oh god unto the god and father of our lord jesus christ that you may grant unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation oh god in the knowledge of christ jesus that we may know you better almighty god in the name of jesus oh god and father i pray this evening god that more time more time we will make a conscious decision oh god to spend more time in your word getting to know you deeper oh god oh father you said in james oh god to draw near to you and you will draw near to us oh god and this evening father god as we spend this time father god uh, this two weeks this time coming this time of uncertainty almighty god i pray that your people will trust you oh god trust in you almighty god and father you oh god will feed us you oh god oh god will direct us you oh god father will help us oh god because my god unto you oh god you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that work it in us so father god we thank you for families oh god we thank you for bonding this evening almighty god for god join us closer to you and join us closer with each other oh god in jesus name i pray father god with thanksgiving amen and amen Almighty God, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We serve an awesome God. We serve a prayer answering God. We serve a mighty God. And this evening, we, we, we continue to pray. And I want you to just join with me this afternoon as we pray. Hallelujah. As for those who are home, Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, yes, we Lord. thank you, God, for all that you have been doing, all that you have done and that you're about to do. And Father, in a special way, God, I pray as many homes and many families, many persons will be home during this time. I pray, oh God, for your grace. I pray, Father, for that God, you would give us the strength, oh God, to, to do what is necessary. And Father, even as we are home, there are many, oh God, today in our society, Father, who are going through so many challenges in the home. I pray in the name of Jesus that God God, you would intervene in a special way in the name of Jesus. I pray for those families, oh God, that may be broken, those families that may be in distress, those families, oh God, that may have, oh God, there may be divisions, oh God, there may be acts of violence and, and otherwise, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus in this time, I pray for peace in the homes of families as we, oh Lord, obey this oh god stay at home order and direction from our prime minister i pray for peace and homes i pray against oh god strife i pray against confusion in the name of jesus i pray against division i pray against violence in the name of jesus i pray oh god against every act of domestic violence i pray oh god against every lord spirit of murder i pray against it now in the name of jesus and i pray for peace and marriages i pray for peace, oh God, between, oh God, fathers and mothers and children. I pray in the name of Jesus that God, you would cover the family unit. 
under your blood in the name of Jesus God there are so many Lord the bars have been closed and the clubs have been closed and Father there are so many of oh God who are struggling in this time oh God I pray in the name of Jesus that God you would give strength oh God to those who may be struggling Father with various addictions or habits I pray in the name of Jesus that God even as they hold away from these places or circumstances or situations at God they will turn to you at God they would find you I pray in the name of Jesus at God families oh God men and women will turn to you in this time at God they will not need the alcohol they will not need to go out to lime or they will not need oh God things that are not of you but at Father, in this time, they will turn to you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you are a very present help in us time of trouble and I cover your people under your blood I cover the families under your blood I cover our men and society under your blood I cover oh God the women and the mothers under your blood I cover children under your blood that those oh God who may be afraid I pray oh God today for your divine protection protect the families protect oh God those who are in your homes in the name of Jesus and oh God, I even pray in a special way. Father, our Prime Minister, oh God, has given the directive that God, non-essential workers will have to stay home and essential workers have to go out. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would cover our essential workers under your blood. I pray you will protect them, protect their families as they will go out, oh God, essential workers, Lord, even from those in the healthcare service, our doctors, our nurses. Father, I pray, oh God, that you will protect them. I pray that you will strengthen them. I pray you will give them the courage that they, oh God, will stand up, oh God, at the front line, that they will do the job that you have called them to do. I pray in the name of Jesus that they will not go weary, they will not grow tired, they will not grow faint but God they will be renewed with your strength and that father they will go out and they will serve and they will take care of our people God even our own doctors and, and nurses at their Ruka worship center father I cover them under your blood in the name of Jesus even those we know God in our local assembly that have been called to the front line I pray you would cover them under your blood in the name of Jesus that God this COVID-19, oh God, they will not fall to it. They will not, oh God, become successful to it, oh God, but that Father, they will be protected. And that God, they will be able to perform their duty to the 100% of their ability. Lord, even, oh God, every other essential worker from every other sector, whether it be the police or be fire, oh God, those in healthcare, those, oh God, who have essential businesses, the energy, oil sector, those, oh God, in leadership, in government, those, oh God, who may be called out, oh Father, to protect the country and, and all others in different areas, I pray, in government workers in different areas, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would cover them under your blood. Cover us all in your blood. Cover all essential workers under your blood. And may they, oh God, do what it is that you've called them to do. And, oh God, they will serve this country and they will serve us well. So Father, I thank you in a special way for those, oh God, who are home and families, cover them under your blood. Our essential workers, cover them under your blood. And Lord, even every prayer that has been prayed here this afternoon, from Reverend Cindy, oh God, to Sister Grace, to Sister Maureen, and others who may be joining with us right now, I pray, oh God, that your perfect will be done. And as we read, oh God, in your word this evening, you said if we humble ourselves, and oh God, if we turn from our wicked ways, that God, you will heal our land. You will hear our prayer, you will heal our land. I pray, oh God, let there be healing in our land. Let there be healing in Trinidad and Tobago. Let there be healing in our world. So even now, God, I commit all these requests into your hand. I thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're about to do, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Amen, amen. amen with me. We also amen. have with us this afternoon... Um, our bishop, again, we're from the Aruka Worship Center, Bishop Ved Nukai. I'm not sure if he's still online with us, if he wants to say a few words. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. And, um, hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name. Folks out there, this is serious times. This is time that we be on praying grounds. This is time that God wants us not to, not to fall apart. Amen. Amen. Not to be fearful. Be precautious. Yes. Exercise wisdom and take a common sense approach. Amen. Use Amen. prayer. Use prayer today to get closer to God and use the time also to get closer to your family. Amen. Find ways how to, um, to, to avoid boredom and tension that could arise and various forms of activity, uh, anxieties and so on. Amen. So we pray Amen. for you today. And we bless you in the name of the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise the Lord. In and over your life, oh, in Lord. and over your spirits, your souls, and your bodies. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord in and over this land, Praise over Trinidad and Tobago. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over the church, the yes. membership of the Aruka Worship Center, from, from babies to adults, over and in their spirits, souls and bodies. God bless you all richly. Thank you very much. Over to you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for those words of encouragement, Pastor. You know, we always love to hear from you. You always have an encouraging word for us. And I want to join with our pastor as you're out there. Let's continue to pray. Let us continue to seek the face of Almighty God in this time. And for those of you who are with us, thank you for being with us in this short moment of prayer. I want you to know that this is not the only time for prayer. You can continue after this because many of us will be continuing in prayer, seeking the face of God. But again, for those of you who would like to join with us again throughout this week, every single day of this week, we have special services online here at our Facebook page. Uh, tomorrow, Monday evening at 6 p.m., we'll be having a few words, words from our pastor. I want to encourage you, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss that time. We can hear an encouraging word from the, from the Bible, something that will lift your spirit, something that will lift your family. You don't want to miss it tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. on Monday and also on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. We continue with what we call our empowerment service, something that will build you and encourage you and strengthen you to continue on. And this is a good time to get your family together. This is a good time. This is a good service for you to come and hear from the word of the Lord that will strengthen you to move on for the rest of the week. And then we come again on Wednesday evening at 6 p.m., a special time of prayer. We're going to be meeting right back here at our AWC church facebook page for prayer at 6 p.m on wednesday and then as we go throughout the week you're going to hear more of the announcements but i want to encourage you that we are here for you we are praying for you we are trusting god with you and for those of you for the first time maybe joining with us we welcome you we are Amen. glad and we are happy that you join with us in prayer meet with us again tomorrow evening monday at 6 p.m for words with our pastor. So again, may God richly bless you. Have a wonderful evening. And know that the Lord your God, he is with you. He's yes. a prayer answering God. Amen. God richly Amen. bless you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.